Assalamualaikum Dr. Mujahid Assalamualaikum uh, Selamat datang ke Family Current Show Terima kasih uh, Jadi Dr. You were uh, I think yeah, Central Atau responsible Very responsible Untuk yeah. penubuhan Dewan Himpunan uh, yeah, Dewan Dewan Himpunan Penyokong PAS Yes sir. Uh, Boleh tak ceritakan sikit Ya yeah. uh, Dia sebenarnya uh, uh, Dewan Himpunan Penyokong PAS Ini adalah untuk Mengumpulkan uh, Rombokan Islam Khususnya The non Malays untuk mereka memahami perjuangan PAS uh, PAS adalah satu parti Islam Dan uh, saya yakini bahawa ia bukan khusus untuk sesuatu kaum atau bangsa uh, Di atas kesedaran rahmatan lil alamin to, Untuk memberi blessing to the to the, to the the world Maka uh, PAS sebagai parti politik Merasakan perlu untuk memastikan yang bukan Islam turut terlibat juga Cuma di sana ada kengkangan dari sudut perlembagaan parti sendiri kerana syarat untuk menjadi ahli PAS itu mestilah dia orang yang beragama Islam. Jadi untuk kita memulakan satu transformasi besar ini, kita mulakan dengan peringkat awal yang kita namakan sebagai klub penyokong PAS. Di mana dia dikendalikan di bawah saya punya biro ataupun dalam PAS disebut Lujunah Perpaduan Nasional. Uh, we've started that off since uh, 2004. 2005 or it's about reaching out to the segment of the non muslim first of all to get them to know who pas is and how pas can uh, offer to them their political protection and all that mm. and then uh, surprisingly it developed into becoming quite a big uh, response from the non malay segment and then uh, due to the political surrounding macam apa yang berlaku Hindraf apa yang berlaku pada politik orang Cina sendiri mereka merasakan memerlukan satu alternatif untuk mereka bernaung hmm. so we came uh, prior to that sudah ada jadi mereka lebih menarik untuk mengenali PAS lagi selain daripada DAP, PKR dan lain-lain maka dari situ kita melihat 2007 the development is so tremendous that you will see masa tu I've been going around the country every night to form the club punya kompas all over the the, the country uh, that shows the support is very uh, very strong and then from there we start to think seriously on how to uh, upgrade the club into something that could be attached quite structurally with the uh, party organization rather than just a very uh, santai punya club menyokong and the, uh, the the idea came out i was asked to uh, present a paper how the non muslim can be absorbed into the organization so i presented a paper in langkawi in our retreat it has become a very uh, important paper for the uh, majlis syura to come up with some sort of uh, opinion in this And finally, eh, they came up with a very basic principle that the, tidak ada masalah sebenarnya bagi orang bukan Islam hmm. untuk menyertai uh, parti Islam uh, dengan of course lah syarat-syarat yang dah tetapkan. Hmm. So from there, it develop the, the the thinking process in the party develop sampai tahap saya ingat saya present about another two three papers sehingga mereka telah bersetuju untuk menubuhkan jawatan kuasa teknikal bagi melihat apa bentuk Uh, apa ni draft undang-undang hmm. yang ditirah oleh parti supaya dapat dijadikan sebagai panduan guideline macam mana dia orang nak bekerja dalam dalam parti. Ha. Dr. Mujahid ada setengah pihak yang katakan oh yang ini hanya satu tipu yeah. helah ataupun hanya hmm. satu helah politik. Ya yeah, yeah. yeah, untuk meraih sokongan mm-hmm. daripada uh, uh, kaum bukan yeah. bukan uh, Melayu. Mm-hmm. Ya yeah, uh, dan juga uh, orang bukan Islam. Yeah, yeah. What what do you think of this charge? Yeah, I think uh, first of all you you have to look into uh, the basic ideology of PAS. PAS is an Islamic party, and I've mentioned earlier that uh, Islamic party is uh, non-communal and non-racial. Uh, it transcends the border of uh, race or any sort. So based on this background of ideology. 
it gives PAS a very strong reason that it shall it will open its door to to the non non Malay, not because of its political interest, but more of its ideological, uh, I would say, background of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the, we uh, it it is not something that we do out of just uh, an interest of rhetoric mm. but it is something we did with uh, the conscious of our ideology mm. that past is for all mm-hmm. past islam is for all yeah. so that is one thing secondly uh, we felt that the malaysian politics needs a better uh, interpretation of racial politics we want to break this wall that has been Uh, with us for the past 50 years where there's a big stumbling block between the race in this country. So I think it must be understood that what PAS is doing is actually to transform the political atmosphere in Malaysia to become non-racial and I think PAS has got all the the the, the, the facilities to do that. Do you think that there is also resistance within PAS untuk perubahan-perubahan macam ni? Definitely. I would believe in every organization. Uh, that when you want to bring some change, transform something that have been used by 50 years, it, it's difficult to mm-hmm. do the change. But nevertheless, it is about how do you manage the change. Mm-hmm. So I think this is what we are doing now, slowly transforming it into first club in your compass, and then Dewan Himpunan in your compass. And of course, in every stage, you will face lots of problems. Mm-hmm. So we, we, we encounter that with a very uh, wise way of doing things. Uh, one of which is to uh, menerbitkan buku juga yes, of yes, your own. Yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Well, this is the book uh, called Menuju Pas Baru. Basically, the whole concept of this book is about people want to know the history of Pas. People want to know where Pas is heading towards to, and in that, in that, in that way, how does the process uh, of uh, internal conflict took place and all that. Mm. So I uh, explain that in a very academic manner based on the learning curve theory and I mentioned here that PAS has gone through the first curve, second curve which is now, unfortunately it's uh, static now and heading downwards. Right. So we need a new curve. Right. So this is the third curve. Right. Or a new wave. A new wave yeah. that will uh, hope to make PAS, uh, you know, shoot straight for another 50 years or so. Okay, so this is all the, the whole idea in this in this book. And this book, Kita Kan Orang Malaysia. Oh, this is something very interesting. I think everyone should read this because it is uh, very light. It uh, represents my experience since I was small with the bringing up of my family, how I felt in the first day that racial politics is not in my heart. So I tried to explain to that through my uh, interaction with other communities, my experience outside the country being the son of the ambassador, and also uh, how we managed to put Malaysia into the limelight. People talk about patriotism now. I knew patriotism when I was already 12 years old, right. presenting the country to the Asian night, you know, and all that. Okay. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Doctor. Thank you. Insha'Allah. Uh, semoga sukses selalu. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Thank you.